Okay, let's get started. It's Friday, the 29th of November, 2024, and the clock has started. The countdown to getting these two telescopes into star front observatories down in Rockwood, Texas has started. Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to Astro Vagabond. So, I've committed to a date to get both my telescopes down to star front observatories, and that's good. I needed an impending event. It really got me motivated to do those things that I need to do to make sure that these both these telescopes are uh, finely tuned and ready to be remotely managed. And so there's several things that I'm doing. And again, with the RedCat 51, I'm now using an ASI 2600mm Pro camera. I just released a video this morning talking about uh, something I learned. And uh, that's why, based upon the angle of view, you don't see my rotator in here anymore. But if you watch that video, you will find out why. Uh, also, when it comes to the Red Cat, I was able to establish filter offsets the other night. I was able to see a target long enough from my backyard. I was actually able to do a polar alignment, and even though there were some telephone cables in view, uh, it completed a polar alignment, and I, uh, I slewed, uh, I forget to what target I slewed to, and then I did the uh, offset filter calculator sequence in Nina Advanced Sequencer, it used to be called Darks Customs. And so now I have my filter offsets established for my Red Cat 51. Uh, and the reason I had to do that is because this uh, Eagle 5S uh, used to be on the Edge HD8, but more importantly, uh, the 2600, that's the first time I've used it on this image train, so those uh, offsets had, had to be created. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I'm uh, ordering some new cables uh, so I could have better cable management. I've ordered something off of Etsy that's going to go on the uh, ASI 2600 that has some cable management uh, on top. So I'm going to get all these cables well managed to where the only uh, cables that are coming down is basically the power cable from the Eagle 5S. Um, and also then there'll be a power cable for the AM5. I still have to go into the bias on the Eagle 5S and uh, change the parameters within the bias so that whenever uh, the Eagle 5S detects power, it will boot up automatically. Um, and uh, in line with that, for both scopes, uh, after communication with Starfront, Josh down there, thanks. I don't know if you watch my videos, but you're big help. I appreciate it. So I've gotten uh, an APC uh, UPS, small one, and then also a um, power strip where each of these ports are controllable through the CASA app. So this is a TP-Link uh, CASA Smart Wi-Fi power strip, and it's got six outlets. I already happen to use CASA light bulbs and some CASA single uh, port switches in the house, which I control uh, via the CASA app. Um, so put that to the side. So I'm, I'm focused on a Red Cat 51. Uh, I'm, I'm close. My deep sky dad, uh, flat panel should be here on the 2nd of December. I am going to make a trip down to Landers, even though the moon's going to be out. The purpose of the trip is basically to, um, just, uh, get a feel for this uh, camera under uh, dark conditions. 
and uh, just make sure everything's checked out. All my cables are then properly managed. I can uh, rotate on the uh, mount head without any cable snags and all that. So that'll be the purpose of that. When it comes to the Edge HD8, I still have to Velcro these, uh, my uh, Wanderbox uh, Pro V3 and my V-Link SER5 to my top rail. Uh, again, these two devices used to be managing my Red Cat 51, but I've swapped them. And so then what I'm gonna need to do is reestablish, it's a good time to reestablish my filter offsets so that Nina has that offset information um, available to it. So I'll be taking this one down as well to Landers. And back over here, I have my original AM5. This is the AM5N. I will uh, place the uh, Edge HD8 on the AM5N. I'll put the um, counterweight bar on and the counterweight and I'll do some with the Edge HD8. I'll do some uh, imaging and guiding and uh, see what that all looks like. So yeah, 29th of December is the date that I've scheduled with Starfront to drop off the equipment. It, it's gonna be a big trip. I'm in San Mateo, California. So uh, Lori's going along with me on this adventure. We leave on Christmas Day from San Mateo. We're going to go down to Indio, California. And then from there, we're going to drive and spend a night in Las Cruces, uh, New Mexico. And then we'll uh, find ourselves uh, Saturday. So that'll be, uh, what, Thursday night, Friday night, Las Cruces. No, correction. Well, I'll figure it all out, but I forget what day uh, Christmas is this year. But, uh, and then we'll uh, stay outside of Abilene, and then that Saturday morning we will go down to uh, Starfront in Rockwood, Texas to drop off uh, the equipment. And then Lori and I are gonna spend a few days exploring Austin, Texas for New Year's. So, a uh, big trip. So yeah, just doing a bunch of last minute stuff to make sure everything is uh, in good shape and, and tuned and ready to be deployed in a remote observatory at Starfront Observatories. So it's very exciting. And now that I have a, a date that I've committed to to drop the equipment off, uh, many people will ship the equipment, but uh, I figure we'll make an adventure out of it. I'll drop it off and I'm, not really sure where all my boxes are anyway. And, um, and so that's, uh, that's the update. I'll do some interim videos along the way, showing some of the things that I may be doing or making changes uh, on. And uh, then for the trip to Texas, I might do some road clips of the, the drive. Uh, they will not let us film in the observatory itself and I can understand that and uh, I'm fine with that so all right if you like this kind of content please give it a thumbs up as always like uh, share and subscribe and if you have experience with a remote observatories <clears throat> and you want to give me some tips and feedback feel free to put it in the comments I'll greatly appreciate that because uh, right now I can uh, use all uh, the help I can get to make sure that I'm approaching uh, getting my two scopes ready for deployment. All right. Thanks again. Thumbs up if you like the content. Other than that, clear skies. Till next time.